Hey, welcome to another edition of RealtyClassTV.com. I'm excited about a little review that my friends at Top 5 in Real Estate just sent me. And I really think it's important to talk to you about this because we're nearing the end of 2009, going into 2010, with some great home buyer tax incentives, okay? Here's the top five facts you need to know about the expanded home buyer's tax credit. By the way, to remind you, this was the new law that was signed in on November 6th by President Obama. Number one most important fact is eligibility. Who qualifies? Well, first-time home buyers and eligible current homeowners. How do you define that? A first-time home buyer is an individual who has not owned a principal residence during the three-year period prior to purchase. This law applies for both parties in a married couple. In other words, they both must meet that criteria. A qualified current homeowner who wished to move up to a different home must have owned and resided in their residence for five consecutive years out of the last eight. Number two, salary requirements. Single taxpayers with incomes up to $125,000 and married couples with joint income up to $225,000. Single tax payers, however, who earn between 125 and 145, and married couples who earn between 225 and 245, are also eligible to receive a partial credit. So don't give up if you uh, still fall in under um, 145 and 245 if you're married. Criteria number three: the amount of the credit. The maximum credit for the first-time home buyer is $8,000. And for the current homeowner who's trading up um, or down, actually, I believe is okay, is $6,500. You just have to be moving to a new home and fit those criteria. The federal tax credit is actually calculated at 10% of the cost of the home, up to the maximum of $8,6500 for current homeowners. Now, obviously, that's calculated on some formula, and that is that the tax credit may only be issued for homes purchased for $800,000 and less. Point number four, this thing is refundable. How exciting is this, right? In other words, meaning that the credit will be paid out to eligible taxpayers even if you owe no tax or the credit is more than the tax owed. This is actually claimed on a form 5405. And finally, the timeline. When do you have to get this done by? This is very critical, and this is why I want you to hear it right now. This is available for homes purchased on or after November the 7th, 2009, and before May 1st, 2010, okay? The federal income credit can be claimed on one's individual joint tax return for the purchase of any single family home, newly constructed or resale, single family detached, townhomes or condominiums, okay? And again, these have to be purchased between the dates of uh, November 7th, 2009, April 30th, 2010. But let me say this, this is exciting too, and I didn't even realize this. Home purchases subject to a binding sales contract signed before May 1st, 2010 will also qualify for this tax rep credit as long as the closing occurs by June 30th, 2010. So now is the time to take action. I know we're in the thick of the holiday season, but this is exactly when the smart buyers get after this thing. This is a process. It's not an event. You don't wake up in the middle of April and decide to do this. You do it the proper way. You get pre-qualified, you get with a realtor who can start to send you homes, and you do the math, and you're prepared, and you hit it real fast. Look forward to seeing you next episode of RealtyClassTV.com. I'm Danny Griffin. Thanks for joining us here.